spirituality. My name is Sophie West, reaching you live and direct from the art of Africa. If this is your first time on the channel, you're highly welcome. This is a place where we separate the facts from the fiction, the science from the superstition, and the concept from the misconceptions about African spirituality. Today, I am going to be talking about a very, very important item that is uh, widely used in uh, the practice of African spirituality in West Africa, I in Nigeria, I in Ghana, Sierra Leone, Gambia, and uh, Cameroon, also other West African countries. And uh, this is exactly the item I'll be talking about. This is uh, a tree bank that uh, is popularly known as Ekbo Ebo in uh, West Africa, in Nigeria. The name is a traditional name, Ekbo Ebo, E-P-O-O-B-O. -O -O. And uh, it is known as anti-wishcraft herb or anti-wishcraft bar. It is a very, very powerful herb and uh, it is widely used in African spirituality in West Africa. I am bringing this to you today because I want you to know about it on this channel and uh, the uses. It is a uh, very, very effective. It's very, very effective and very powerful. And it is also very popular. They get this uh, from a tree in uh, West Africa. The botanical name for this very tree is a uh, Etro Pelum Twavillem. I don't know if I'm getting it right. Oh, Etro Pelum Twavillem. I'm going to write the name under the Shani description so you can actually use that name to trace this herb and try to see if you can get it if you are not in Africa. But uh, in Africa, everybody know it as a Echo Ebo, the Yoruba name, or just say anti witchcraft bark or anti witchcraft herb. The thing about this herb is that it is very, very powerful and uh, it has been known to break every kind of jinx every kind of bad spell, bad luck, witchcraft, any kind of spiritual attack. That's why they call it anti-witchcraft. It destroys the power of evil. It destroys the power of witchcraft. When you have spell, people sending spell to you, or uh, people that are not wishing you well, people that are doing anything, any kind of uh, incantation, meditation, shrap or snares, plans, evil plans that people send against you, any kind of evil stuff that is sent to your way, this very thing destroys it, this very bank you are seeing here, so it is that powerful, and uh, it is a raw material that is used in many spells, many ointments that you see people sell uh, in their products, they make use of this very herb as a raw material or as an integer ingre ingredient to hard to those uh, spells or to those very things that they make to give it the power that it needs to work. So this is a natural raw material that they use. The way they use this is that uh, you get this wood now, you are going to pound it into powder or if you have a very, very powerful blender, you cut the wood into pieces and you blend it into powder form. So you pound it into powder, you blend it, then you use the particles, the amino short particles, and you use it to add to your medicine, to add to your spell, to add to your syrup, to add to the ointment, to add to anything that you are doing that you want to fight against witchcraft. So this is how they use it. It is very powerful and it is highly recommended. That is uh, why I am bringing it to this channel today okay so what you need to do is that uh, you need to get this herb that you need to pound it if you're having any sort of bad luck any sort of uh, jinx maybe financial issues you feel that you are kind of limited or something is you want to remove any kind of a uh, plague or anything that is affecting you negatively you want to remove it from your 
body. You want to remove it from your life. You are going to pound this and uh, you are going to be using it to bait. Okay? The way they do it is that uh, you pound it, then uh, put it in a bottle, then you're going to get sea salt. This is uh, original sea salt. You get something like this, natural sea salt from the sea. Then uh, you mix it together with your bathing water and you just use it to bath. Just like that. Just use it as part of your bathing uh, particles, bathing uh, swinge of soap. You put it in the bath water and you just bath with it and it wipes out every kind of negativity, every problems, everything that is stopping you or preventing you from getting what you want to get. Any obstacle, it wipes it out from your body, from your life. So it's very powerful. Just these two things, it's just the combination that you need. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, you get your sea salt, you get the herb, you mix them together, put it in your bathing water, and then you simply bathe with it. This is how it is done. For other spells that you want to do, if you want to do protection spells, you also pound this and take some of the powder, you add it to that spell. You want to do spell for people to protect them, to prevent things from happening to them. You put this as part of it. This is used for all kind of spells in West Africa. Every kind of medicine that have to do with protection, that have to do with cleansing, that have to do with a return to sender, back to sender, that have to do with destroying spiritual attacks, especially those people that uh, claim that uh, they have uh, bad dreams, having nightmares, seeing themselves doing things they are not supposed to be doing in the dream. What you just need to do is that uh, you take a piece of this herb and put it under your pillow and uh, you sleep just like that, or you use it to beat every day and it just stops all those kind of things. People that have uh, visitations where they claim that uh, somebody come to have sex with them in the dream or in the night, those kind of evil spirits or incubus, succubus spirits, this chases them away. Spiritual husbands, those kind of problems, lack of inability to get money, shortage of finances, this help wipes all those, solve all those problems. It is that powerful. It's a very popular and powerful herb. You can research it online. There have been a lot of videos and research about this very, very thing and uh, its efficacy and its potency uh, is uh, it's very, very well known. So you can use it for a lot of spells that we hate to your work, that we, it's going to actually change things in your life. We're going to actually change situations in your life. So this is uh, something that you should not play with it comes highly highly recommendable that is why i am bringing it to this channel and uh, i want you guys to try to get your hands on it as uh, as quickly as possible so that you can start using it okay it's very popular and common in uh, west africa you can get it to buy if you have a friend that is uh, coming from nigeria to your country try to tell them to get this or you can order this. Uh, I have it, lots of it right now. If you want to order it, you can also get it from me as well. And uh, it is something that you really need in your arsenal. If you want to do any sort of spell to protect against evil, to destroy any sort of evil that is affecting you, this is, uh, is the primary ingredient that you will need. This echo ebo anti-wishcraft back is what you really need to destroy any power of evil that is affecting your life, okay? So uh, this is the herb. Easiest way to use it is to get it, just mix it with your sea salt and uh, you use it to bath, or you can just take portions of it and add it to any kind of protection spell that you are doing, or you simply put it under your bed, you put it in your office, put it in your car, put it in any place that you feel that needs protection and uh, it works like that and it just works quite naturally you don't need to do anything you just need to get this very wood just get this natural echo able and uh, you are good to go okay so this is the thing that you need 
and uh, for any kind of spiritual battle that you want to fight, this is what is needed. Okay, so this is the help for you, and uh, I want you guys to try it out and tell me what you think about it. Okay, so uh, this is what I have for you today. Questions or comments are welcome. Like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to get my videos as soon as I release them. Then I also want you to try to register on my site www.kindoki.net if you are interested in learning more about African spirituality. If you want to practice African spirituality and uh, from the comfort of your home to know how to use simple everyday materials to practice African spirituality, you can register on my website and you're going to get a lot of resources and things that will help you in that regard. Okay, so um, this is what I have for you today and uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video. So take care and bye. Peace.